If you look way, way up over the Pacific Ocean this week, you could see a flying saucer. But this isn't a Martian invasion. It's NASA preparing for a trip to Mars. If it all goes to plan, a balloon will carry the so-called saucer to 120,000 feet. Then rockets kick in, taking it to the edge of the stratosphere at 4,900 kilometers per hour. That's when NASA puts on the brakes with an inflatable donut and a massive parachute. Sounds pretty intriguing to us, and who better to explain this than the national science correspondent, Bob McDonald, who's here in Toronto tonight. <laughs> so this sounds pretty cool. It Why is. are they doing this? This is the flying saucers that we send to Mars. Yes. Wendy, it's finally, <laughs> we're doing the it tables. to them. And it's, it's a way of slowing down. If you want to go to Mars, you come screaming into an atmosphere at thousands of kilometers an hour. you got to slow yourself down, and this is the new technology to do that. And I have some footage here of them putting this thing together. So it's called the low density supersonic uh, decelerator, inflatable decelerator. Don't AKA you love that? saucer. Yeah. <laughs> and what it is, is um, whenever we send spacecraft to Mars, we put them inside these saucers because they hit the atmosphere and present a blunt face so that the air friction will slow them down. The problem is Mars doesn't have much air. The air doesn't work hard enough and it's not slowing our spacecraft down fast enough if we want to send really big things there like people. So this idea is to have an inflatable donut around the outside to increase your surface area so that you'll slow down. So what they're doing with this test is to use the upper atmosphere of the Earth, which is like Mars, if you go up above 100,000 feet, that's how thin the air is there, and see if this thing will actually work. So they're just going to drop it down and see if it'll inflate, if it'll actually slow down. So what happens if it doesn't work? Well, then we got to rethink about how we're going to go to Mars because we're going to need something like this to get people down there or wings or something else. But you know, Wendy, the best science is sometimes you learn the most when it does fail. So let's watch out what, the, what happens this week. But will we have to pay for our bags? I hope not. <laughs> Thanks so much, Bob. We'll see <laughs> okay, what happens. Wendy.